in the command of God's army. He and his celestial soldiers clash against evil. His name is similar to God. Michael is generally depicted as an angelical figure, using the sword and the armor with the devil's image under him. There are other important archangels, like Raphael and Gabriel, but none of them receives as much devotion as Archangel Michael. He is accountable for warding off countless attempts that tried to keep mankind off the path of goodness. Another role of the Archangel is to lead the soul of the good to heaven, right after the judgment. Michael also connects men in God. He is responsible for taking the prayers of the faithful to God. But Michael's main role is at the command of his army of angels. The Bible tells that Michael opposed the strengths of Satan a few times, and in all these, Michael had always been and remained victorious. The commander of the angels fought against evil when the dragon-shaped devil along with their angels tried to conquer heaven. But Satan and his allies were expelled by the angelic forces led by Michael the Archangel, and they were shoved towards the earth. These fallen angels had to shelter themselves in hell. They were no match for the forces of good, led by the outstanding angelic warrior. The Archangel Michael is acknowledged by both Christian, Hebrew, and Muslim faiths, but Catholics are the ones who give him the highest honors. Michael is considered the advocate of the church, and his faithful is known as St. Michael the Archangel among the most faithful. September 29th is dedicated to celebrating the three main archangels, Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. Nowadays, the archangel is still very sought by those seeking protection from evil. St. Michael Archangel Parish in Prosperidad de Cruz del Sur holds a significant place in the historical narrative of the region, tracing its roots back to the year 1850 when it was established by the Recoletas Friars. At that time, the arrival of Christianity marked a pivotal movement in the cultural and social landscape of Cruz del Sur, shaping its identity and beliefs for generations to come. St. Michael Archangel Parish Church in Prosperidad de Cruz del Sur Philippines stands as a symbol of faith and religious heritage of the community. It serves as a focal point for spiritual, social, and cultural activities, preserving traditions and fostering a sense of belonging among the locals. Additionally, its architecture and the artistic elements may hold historical and artistic value, contributing to the cultural landscape of the region. Over the years, the site has evolved from a modest parish to a significant religious center, serving as a focal point for the community's spiritual life. Its information into the future set of basis of Spreadad underscores its growing importance within the local religious hierarchy. In the broader context of local history, this site serves as a tangible symbol of the introduction and spread of Christianity in the recent history. It provides insight into the religious practice, belief, and tradition that have influenced the lives of the people in the region for centuries. Furthermore, St. Michael Parish contributes to the narrative of the national history by highlighting the enduring legacy of Spanish colonialism and its impact on the Philippines' cultural and religious landscape. Because of the preservation and maintenance of this historical site, it's the unwearing dedication of the local community. To their collective efforts, they have safeguarded the parish, ensuring that its rich heritage is passed down to future generations. Their commitment to preserving their religious and cultural identity is evident in their going support for the upkeep of this site. So you may bring attention to St. Michael Park Parish. Its preservation does not rely solely on the service. Instead, the local community takes pride in the site, recognizing the significant beyond its appeal to visitors. Their efforts serve as a testament to the deep connection to the parish and its role in shaping their collective identity. To ensure the continued preservation and accessibility of the St. Michael Archangel Parish for the future generation, it is impressive to foster and growing community and support and collaborate. Additionally, partnership with a governmental and non-profit organization dedicated to the historical preservation can provide additional resources and expertise. By working together, we can safeguard this important historical site, ensuring that its legacy is enjoyed for the future generations to come.
Pagsaysay Bridge stand as a testament to Butuan's infrastructural evolution, serving as a sole crossing point over the Agusan River until the completion of the Makapagal Bridge. Its historical significance lies in its pivotal role in facilitating transportation and trade, connecting communities on either sides of the river, and contributing to the city's economic development. Since its inception, the site has likely experienced changes to adapt to evolving transportation needs and safety standards. Maintenance works, repair, and possibly even renovation may have been carried out to ensure the bridge structural integrity and usability over the years. From a historical perspective, the old Magsaysay Bridge provides valuable insights into what once growth trajectory and the significance of infrastructure in shaping the local communities. It offers a tangible link to the past, highlighting the cha challenges and achievements associated with urbanization and development in the region. Preservation efforts by the local community may include regular maintenance activities, historical documentation, and educational program aimed at raising awareness about the bridge heritage value. Community, engage, and advocacy play crucial role in safeguards the site for future generations. importance as it is believed to be the location of the legendary Balangay boats, ancient vessels that are symbol of early Philippine maritime culture. The site was established by the National Museum of, of the Philippines in 2010. Following the discovery of Balangay boats in 1976 by a local fisherman named Dr. Philman Romero. Since its, since its discovery, the boat Eco Park has under gone development and enhancement to showcase and preserve the cultural and historical significance of the Balanghai boats. Since its discovery, the boat Eco Park has undergone development and enhance enhancement to showcase and preserve the cultural and historical significance of the Balanghai boats. Facilities like museums, exhibits, and guided tours have likely been added to enrich the visitor experience. The site contributes significantly to our understanding of ancient maritime practices, the colonial Filipino culture, and history of seafaring in Southeast Asia. Its vital piece in puzzle of regional and global history. Local authorities and communities have likely played a crucial role in preserving the Boon Eco Park. This includes active engagement in conservation efforts, educational programs, and the, and the promotion of sustainable tourism practices. Tourism can both positively and negatively impact the preservation of this site. Responsible tourism can regenerate funds for maintenance and awareness, while overcrowding and lack of regulation can lead to damage. To ensure the continued preservation and accessibility of the Boon Eco Park, sustainable tourism practices should be encouraged. This involves striking a balance between visitor numbers, conservation efforts, and community involvement, Edu educational programs, strict guidelines for visitors, and ongoing research can also aid in safeguarding this historical treasure for future generations.
The Butuan National Museum stands as a testament to the rich historical heritage of Butuan City in the Philippines. It's established in the 1970s, marked a pivotal moment in the region's recognition of its ancient past, particularly with the discovery of the Balangay boats. These boats, unearthed in Butuan, represents a significant archaeological find showcasing the city's early maritime prowess and its role in regional trade networks. The museum's evolution over time reflects not only changes in its physical infrastructure, such as the transition from red cement to tiled flooring, but also advancements in museum practices and visitor engagement. Renovations and updates to the exhibition displays likely aim to provide a more immersive and informative experience for visitors, allowing them to better appreciate the historical significance of the Balangay boats and other artifacts housed within the museum. In terms of its contribution to our understanding of history, the Butuan National Museum offers invaluable insights into the economic, cultural, and technological exchanges that occurred in the Southeast Asia centuries ago. By showcasing artifacts like the Balangay boats, the museum helps to contextualize Butuan's place in the broader narrative of maritime trade and cultural diffusion in the region enriching our understanding of local, national, and even global history. The preservation and maintenance of museum rely heavily on the efforts of the local community and government. Through collaborative initiatives, funding for conservation projects, and ongoing research, stakeholders strive to ensure the continued integrity of museum's collections and facilities. Furthermore, educational programs and outreach efforts help to raise awareness about the importance of cultural heritage preservation among both locals and tourists. Tourism undoubtedly plays a significant role in the sustainability of the museum as it brings attention, revenue, and opportunities for cultural exchange. However, the influx of visitors also present challenges such as the need of crowd management, conservation measures to protect fragile artifacts, and the development of responsible tourism practices to minimize a negative impact on the site. To guarantee the continued preservation and accessibility of Butuan National Museum for future generations, a multifaceted approach is essential. This includes the implementation of comprehensive conservation plans, investment in staff training and development, leveraging technology for artifact preservation and interpretation, fostering partnership with academic institution and international national organization and engaging with local community to promote a sense of stewardship and ownership over their shared heritage. Through these concerted efforts, the Butuan National Museum can continue to serve as a beacon of cultural pride and historical enlightenment for generations to come. In a recent interview conducted in Butuan City, Locals expressed their pride in the historical treasures found in the region. The discovery of artifacts such as the Masa artifacts, Palangay boats, the Golden Tara has been a source of fascination and reverence for the residents. These artifacts not only represent the rich culture and heritage of Butuan, but also contribute to the understanding of ancient civilization that once thrived in the area. One of the most significant finds in the Masa artifacts, which includes intricate golden jewelry and ceremonial objects. These artifacts provide insights into the craftsmanship and artistic sophistication of the pre-colonial societies in Butuan. Similarly, the discovery of Balangay boats, ancient wooden water cap, showcases the advanced maritime skills of the early settlers of their intensive trading networks. The golden dara, a golden figurine believed to represent the pre-colonial deity or royalty, is another remarkable discovery that has captivated historians and archaeologists worldwide. Its intricate craftsmanship and symbolic significance shed a light on the spiritual beliefs and social structures in ancient Bukhara. 
the presence of Magellan's cross and Magellan's anchorage also underscores Butuan's importance in the history of Philippine colonization. These landmarks served as a tangible reminder of the arrival of the European explorers and the subsequent Spanish influence of the region. For locals, these artifacts and landmarks are not just relics of the past, but sources of pride and inspiration. They represent the resilience of the ingenuity of the Filipino people in Bukwan City throughout history. Moreover, they attract tourists and researchers from around the world, contributing to the city's cultural and economic development. Preserving and showcasing these treasures is crucial for safeguarding Bukwan's heritage for future generations. Efforts to conserve archaeological archaeological sites and promote cultural tourism are essentially the ensuring the legacy of the once past continues to enrich and present shape its future. Once again, I am Diana Liza S. Gonzalez, and we are from BSMLS 1F. Goodbye!